Hi guys, it's Jazzy Rose. If you're interested in this wild curly hair tutorial, please continue watching. First, I'm going to start off by combing through my hair, making sure that there's no knots. Then I'm going to make a part in the back of my hair, probably about an inch thick. This is just so I can move from the back of my hair to the front. And I usually do this hairstyle on a day dirty old hair. It's easier to work with when it's dirty. Then I'm going to take a 1 4th inch curling iron. Yes, a curling iron, not a wand, but I'm going to be using it as a wand. Then I'm going to take about a half an inch of hair. And instead of using it like a curling iron, I'm going to use it as a wand and I'm going to wrap my hair around it. And I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds and then I'm going to let it go. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Now while you're doing this process, you don't want to keep on curling your curls in the same direction. You want to switch it up. You want to curl your curls forward as you're wrapping it and then as you're going to wrap it again, you're going to go backwards with the next uh, section of hair that you're taking. And as you get to the top of the crown of your head, you want to make your pieces that you're separating of hair a little bit smaller. Maybe about one fourth of the inch or even smaller depending on how short your hair is. I'm going to keep the video up to speed and once I get to the crown of my he head, I'm going to slow the video back down. And I'll start talking again and I'll show you exactly what I mean by making your, uh, your section smaller of hair that you're working with. Once you get to the top of your head, that's when you want to start taking the one fourth inch section of hair to work with instead of the half an inch of hair. Um, also too, if you guys are afraid of burning your hand, you can get those hot gloves. I don't know the exact name, but they're made for working with, you know, hot irons and stuff like that. You can probably get them off Amazon for like two or three dollars. I just find it easier for me to grab my strands of hair with my fingernails instead of the glove. I don't know. It it kind of messed me up when I tried the glove, so I just use my bare hand.
Once you guys are finally done, you're just going to take your fingers and you're just going to brush your curls out. Just like that. Give it a little shake too. So you can get some volume to it. Don't brush it out too much. You don't want to lose your curl. Remember, you don't have curly hair. You have straight. You could end up really just brushing the curls out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back in with the curling iron and just go over the areas that you think that you really need to define your curls. Once that's done, you're going to just take hairspray, any kind of hairspray that you like, and just make sure that you spray the shit out of your head. You want to just make sure that you don't lose your curls. And give it a shake. It also gives it a little bit of volume. And I noticed that when you pick your hair up and then spray, that also gives you volume too. You want to make your hair look as full as possible. So that's just what I'm doing here. Now just play with it a little bit, you know, make sure it's to your liking, may give it a little bit more of a shake if you'd like, but that's really it. I mean, this is the final look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!